Mike Pence, a key witness, this breaking news that he did face the DOJ today, but how this would have even happened, whether Garland and the DOJ, something I know you've spoken about with your uh, deep knowledge of government and how things work, uh, something they were very late to. Uh, and as you know, Nicole, I know you often turn um, to hip hop and lyrics to make sense of things. I do that sometimes as well. Um, but th it is a fact that Attorney General Garland, overseeing the larger probe initially, um, was late. Uh, there's an artist out of PG County, uh, Redville, who says, uh, I can't trip, I've already fallen. I can tell you not about a win, because you're stalling. Uh, and you identified it early on. For We can't read their minds, but I'd love for you to, to build on the point you were just making, that there was early stalling, and we are late two-plus years out to see a key witness turn up today. I know from working in government that there is an inertia to not moving. And not moving on Trump was something they wanted to keep in motion, if that makes any sense, right? Yep. I think that it only became untenable when Cassidy Hutchinson testified to Trump's enthusiasm for the threats against Mike Pence. I think that's where the, the West Wing fractured, right? And I think what the select committee revealed was how Cassidy Hutchinson and Cipollone and others were on one side and these truly insane people. Now, I should say, the presence of the insane people was being reported in real time by New York Times reporters, Washington Post. We, we knew Mike Flynn was in the Oval. We didn't know exactly the architecture of the coup, but we knew that Trump wasn't planning on, you know, washing the rugs for the Bidens. But we, we know from that congressional committee that he knew he lost. We know from that congressional committee that he knew the Eastman plot was illegal. And we know from that congressional committee that while reports from violence were coming into the Secret Service, he still wanted to go. It ties into every crime DOJ has been investigating. And I think that we're Demo we're having been a Republican, right? We're sort of coming out coming out of, of, of a party I was a part of. They count on people like Merrick Garland not wanting to go there. They count on it, they benefit from it, and Trump announces right when he does to make it even scarier for him. So maybe maybe Merrick Garland appointed Jack Smith in time. I don't think so. I think Jack Smith's going to have a, a crush of evidence and Merrick Garland's going to have to make another difficult choice as Trump is potentially about to clinch the Republican nomination. You just laid it all out so clearly. And as you say, uh, the way that people game it out, if they are, shall we say, amoral uh, or have no other ethical guideline and they people like Trump may just look at this and say, oh, here's how I'll rattle the system, here's how I'll take advantage of even what might be well-intentioned errors. Um, but when you are talking about the security of our democracy itself, uh, those aren't the kind of errors that, that I think we can afford to keep making. No, and when it was a threat of terrorism from abroad, Republicans didn't blink, they didn't flinch. There was nothing they wouldn't do. A lot of those things are wildly unpopular. All of them are wildly unpopular with our viewers. But when it was a domestic violent extremism threat that intersected with Trump's base, they wanted to look the other way. Mitch McConnell goes to the well, right, of the, of the Senate and says, I refer these crimes if there were crimes. No one wants to touch it. Not the Senate Republicans who could have convicted him and been done with him, and not Merrick Garland, who was extremely political in doing nothing or in taking a long time to do a whole lot of something with Jack Smith. Is that a lyric somewhere? It should be, right? <laughs> I think you just wrote it. I think you wrote it. Uh, I've talked what for is too it? long. Uh, <laughs> no, I really appreciate it. They say, you know, campaign and poetry govern in prose. I think you are right on the line of both there. Uh, we will. We will refer your lyric, like so many criminal referrals, uh, for some good use. <laughs>